The National Institutes of Health defines insomnia as complaints of disturbed sleep in the presence of adequate opportunity and circumstance for sleep. For millions of people with insomnia, the condition is chronic. And as with many other chronic diseases, insomnia can have a significant impact on a person's life. Former oncology nurse Brenda Castiglione used to work night shifts at the hospital and never had any trouble sleeping. But Brenda developed severe sleep difficulties when she retired a few years ago. I would just lie there and not be able to go to sleep and just toss and turn. And then finally I would get up and watch TV or read a book and uh, maybe drink some bourbon, uh, stuff like that. And, you know, finally just knock myself out and until then I finally went to sleep. According to the National Sleep Foundation, sleep is regulated by two brain processes. One is the restorative process when sleep occurs naturally in response to how long we are awake. The longer we are awake, the stronger is the drive to sleep. The second process controls the timing of sleep and wakefulness during the day-night cycle. Timing is regulated by the circadian biological clock that is located in our brain. For most individuals, our body temperature starts to drop in the evening and that facilitates sleepiness. Our body temperature starts to rise close to morning, and that's what wakes us up. And Researchers believe disruptions back. in the body clock play a role in why chronic insomnia is so prevalent in seniors. Older adults also have it, a shift in their biological clock, which is called an advanced sleep phase. They get sleepy earlier in the evening, they wake up early in the morning, so this also sometimes has an effect on their ability to get the sleep that they need. That's what Brenda Castiglione's problem was. Because she had always worked the night shift at the hospital, her body clock adjusted to a late night schedule. After she retired, she tried to change her schedule, but her body clock was still on the old shift. I couldn't get up early because I didn't go to bed till too late. And so I'd get up early and I was, I was just miserable. Brenda worked with Dr. Ancoli Israel to establish a routine that helped her reset her biological clock, and it seems to be working for her. Atlanta area builder Tom Jennings is in his mid-50s, and he's had difficulty with sleep for nearly 30 years. But he didn't seek treatment for it until a specialist suggested that sleep deprivation might be contributing to his health problems. He felt like my heart condition, at least in part, was uh, triggered because of my bad sleeping habits. With chronic sleep deprivation, there is no way that you can function at your best. It puts you at a disadvantage. It cuts down on your productivity. It exposes you to illness. It makes you more vulnerable because it compromises your immune system. Overall, it potentially could shorten your life expectancy. At the suggestion of his cardiologist, Tom Jennings went to see a sleep specialist. Well, I talked about different symptoms that I'd had over, you know, like just waking up with headaches, uh, feeling unrested when I got out of bed, uh, getting up several times in, in the, during the night. He said that bad sleeping or disorders could actually trigger uh, heart problems, and, and that made my eyes open up and I thought, wow, this is something to look into. Experts tell us many people believe insomnia is a harmless condition. They feel sleep is something they'll catch up on later when they have the time. But as we've seen, insomnia can be a dangerous, even deadly condition if not treated. If I got people to appreciate how important a good night of sleep was, um, I would really meet my goals. The reason that I say that is, is that in our busy lives, we are now averaging two hours less sleep than we did at the turn of the century. You can blame Letterman, you can blame electricity, but the reality is we need our full amount of sleep. Now that Brenda has her sleep disorder under control, she spends her day doing what she wants to do at home and with her friends and family. Having a good sleeping night means everything to me because that means I can do what I want to do, you know, and not feel out of sync with the group. It's made a big difference in my life. Tom Jennings understands how important sleep is. He has been successfully treated for his sleep disorder, and he says he feels like a new man. 
Today, when I wake up, I feel very refreshed. I like getting out of bed and just stretching and feeling good. If you think you may have insomnia, it's important to partner with your doctor. He or she can suggest ways to improve your sleep, which may include taking sleep medicine. To answer any specific questions you may have, be sure to contact your healthcare provider.